Making a delicious chocolate cake is a delightful endeavor that brings joy to both the baker and the fortunate individuals who get to savor it. To start this culinary journey, you'll need to gather all the necessary ingredients. These typically include flour, sugar, cocoa powder, eggs, milk, butter, baking powder, and vanilla extract. Before you begin, make sure you have these items at hand, and don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees Celsius to ensure it's ready when your cake is. Begin by preparing your cake pans. Most chocolate cake recipes call for two 9-inch, 23 centimeters round cake pans, which you should grease and line with parchment paper to prevent sticking. This ensures that your cakes will come out of the pans easily and with a perfectly even surface. Now, it's time to sift the dry ingredients. Sifting serves two main purposes. It removes any lumps or impurities from the flour and cocoa powder and aerates them, resulting in a lighter, fluffier cake. In a large mixing bowl, combine 1 and 3 quarters cups, 220 g, of all-purpose flour, 1 and 3 quarters cups, 350 g, of granulated sugar, 3 quarters cup, 65 g, of unsweetened cocoa powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Use a fine mesh sieve or a flour sifter to ensure everything is well combined. In a separate bowl, it's time to tackle the wet ingredients. Start by cracking three large eggs and placing them in another mixing bowl. Beat the eggs with a whisk or an electric mixer until they're well mixed. Then, add in one cup 240 milliliters of whole milk, half a cup 120 milliliters of vegetable oil, and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Mix everything together until you have a smooth, consistent liquid mixture. Now comes the moment where the dry and wet ingredients come together. Gradually pour the wet mixture into the dry ingredients while stirring constantly. Continue to mix until all the ingredients are fully incorporated. You want to avoid overmixing, as this can lead to a dense cake. Just mix until there are no visible streaks of flour or cocoa powder. With your cake batter ready, it's time to divide it evenly between your prepared cake pans. Use a spatula to smooth the tops, ensuring an even surface. This is crucial for even baking. Place the pans in the preheated oven and bake for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. Keep a close eye on them and use a toothpick or cake tester to check for doneness. Insert it into the center of the cakes. If it comes out clean, they're done. If not, give them a few more minutes. Once your cakes are perfectly baked, remove them from the oven and let them cool in the pans for about 10 minutes. Carefully run a knife around the edges to loosen them and gently invert the cakes onto a wire rack to cool completely. It's important to let them cool entirely before frosting to avoid the frosting melting and sliding off. While your cakes are cooling, it's the perfect time to prepare your chocolate frosting. For a classic chocolate cake, a rich and creamy chocolate buttercream is an ideal choice. 
In a large mixing bowl, beat one cup, two sticks, of unsalted butter until it's smooth and creamy. Gradually add in three and a half cups, for 20 g, of powdered sugar and half a cup, 65 g, of unsweetened cocoa powder, alternating with a quarter cup, 60 milliliters, of whole milk, and continue to mix until the frosting is smooth and fluffy. Add a pinch of salt and two teaspoons of vanilla extract for flavor. If the frosting seems too thick, you can add a little more milk, and if it's too thin, add more powdered sugar. Now that your frosting is ready and your cakes are cool, it's time to assemble your chocolate cake. Place one cake layer on a serving plate or cake stand, flat side up. Spread a generous layer of chocolate frosting over the top. Then, gently place the second cake layer on top, flat side down, creating a sandwich of deliciousness. With your cake layers stacked, it's time to frost the entire cake. Start by applying a thin layer of frosting, known as a crumb coat, all over the cake. This initial layer helps lock in any loose crumbs and provides a smooth surface for the final layer of frosting. Once the crumb coat is in place, refrigerate the cake for about 15 to 30 minutes to allow the frosting to set. After the crumb coat has set, it's time for the final layer of frosting. Use a spatula or a frosting smoother to spread a thick, even layer of chocolate frosting over the entire cake. You can get creative with the frosting, adding swirls, patterns, or a smooth finish, depending on your preference. To enhance the visual appeal of your cake, consider decorating it with chocolate shavings, sprinkles, or even fresh berries. These additions not only add a pop of color but also provide a delightful contrast to the rich chocolate flavor. Finally, it's time to slice and enjoy your homemade chocolate cake. Use a sharp knife dipped in warm water for clean cuts to reveal the moist and decadent layers within. Serve your slices with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or a dollop of whipped cream for an extra touch of indulgence. In conclusion, baking a chocolate cake is a labor of love that results in a delightful treat for any occasion. With the right ingredients, techniques, and a little patience, you can create a moist, rich chocolate cake that will leave everyone asking for seconds. Whether it's a birthday celebration, a special event, or simply a craving for something sweet, this homemade chocolate cake is sure to satisfy even the most discerning chocolate lovers. So, roll up your sleeves, preheat that oven, and let the aroma of freshly baked chocolate cake fill your kitchen. It's a culinary adventure worth embarking upon. Thank you.